Hey guys, uh, I just figured out how to do a Waxnail OSD overlay. This is, uh, this is a project that Kirik has done. He's on the Discord server for Waxnail. Um, he's made a OSD generator basically. So I'm gonna give you kind of a step-by-step -step process on how to do it. So as you can notice over here, you have avatar um, file. This is the video file. And then you have the OSD file. And this is the file you're gonna use to generate the OSD overlay onto the video. And then there's also an SRT file that's for using, um, so you can see all the data, like the millisecond readouts and all that. But today we're just gonna do the uh, OSD overlay. I'll post this uh, GitHub page in the, in the description, but here it is. This is uh, basically his improved version. He just released it yesterday. So uh, yeah, you just download this uh, zip file and then you're gonna have this folder here and then I have it open over here. So close that out. So hey, you double click into this. All right. So now you're gonna select your video path. You basically just drag and drop stuff. So we're gonna we're gonna drag this over here, and then it's gonna highlight all this stuff because it finally it recognizes that OSD file that we already have. But now we have to select a font path. So you basically have to select one of these. I do the bigger one just because I like the way it looks. It tells you it doesn't match the video res resolution, so pick the SD font. Um, I'm not gonna do that. And then you can basically offset where it is. You can change it a little bit. You can go offset left, right. You can change, you can make it go up or down. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's kind of nice because if you did screw up your OSD, you could like make it perfect on here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so then you have to generate a ping sequence. This is the first step. So once you hit this, it's gonna do its thing. It doesn't take that long. I think this is a pretty short video, so this should only take like 20 seconds. It kind of tells you in this window when it's done too. Right here, it kind of doesn't say anything. It just says, can, it just kind of stays there. Uh, this will tell you when it's done and then you close it out. So right there, it says done. We're gonna close it out. All right, so then you open this back up and then we gotta select our video again. Now it's like ready to rock. And then we can upscale with 1440p and then hit render video with OSD. And then this thing's gonna do its thing. It makes your computer work pretty hard, so. You might not want to have a lot of things open when you're doing this. This shouldn't take too long. Probably, I think this is only like a one minute clip. This will probably take all of one minute. So I'll speed this process up so you don't gotta watch the whole thing. All right, and then it says done right here. So we'll close that out and we're all done. And then you just go ahead and watch that new where is it? Those are the generated parts. I thought it generated a new file. Yep, here it is. So here's our new generated OSD file. So you double click that, and there we go, guys. We got voltage readout and then my LQ readout. I don't really have anything for OSD on this uh, on this drone, and I don't think I run the battery low enough to see a low battery warning. But you can kind of see it. We'll let it play through here, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. So. Just a quick instructional video. Hope it helps and we'll see you guys for the next video.